Hey everybody, so today I'm gonna teach you how to bleach a lace closure. I'm gonna show you which tools you can use and the safest way to do that. Today we're gonna be using the Wella Blondor Powder Bleach. I'm gonna use the 30 Volume Developer, also by Wella. I'll show you an option on how you can get it the most even with foil, a wide tooth comb, a rat tail comb, some little clippies, and some gloves to protect your hands from the chemicals. And you're gonna need a lace closure as well as a bundle. So I'm gonna teach you how to make these blonde the safest way possible, okay? Okay, so we're gonna start with the closure. And what I've done already is I've clipped the front part of the lace to the bag. It's not gonna be as sturdy, but you wanna try to find something as sturdy as possible. So we'll go ahead and mix the bleach. I'm just gonna do two scoops. Now I'm gonna take the Cholesterol Perfect by Wella 30 volume and I'm just gonna pour it in there until I like the consistency. You wanna have it to like a nice pancake batter consistency. And then take my little mixer. You can do this with a brush as well. And keep mixing until you see no more lumps in the product. So once it gets to a nice pancake batter mix, then that's how you know when you've added enough developer and enough bleach. I'm gonna show you the foil way first. This is the best way for the beginners to be able to evenly bleach a closure. First thing we will do is take a section and it should be about that thick. Not too thick. Then you want to take some pre-cut foil or regular foil if you have it. Take your comb, fold it like so, and place it right underneath that section. So once you have it firm underneath that section, you can hold it down, and starting from the top, go ahead and start to bleach. Don't let your foil slide up though. <laughs> Now, you want to be as generous as possible when it comes to the bleach because if it's really dry on the other side of your hair, it's gonna be black when you're done. You don't want it to be black. You want all the hair to be as blonde as you want it. No black spots, no dark spots. And that way, you have the even results at the end. So as you can see, the foil is too short for the hair. So what you will do is flip the hair up, paint down, take the hair, do the same thing, spin it around, To ensure that it's going all the way through to the other side, just take your brush vertically and go ahead and get it all the way through the hair. Apply more product, going down vertically. This also helps to make your strands a little bit more neater too. Now because we're using 30 volume, you want to be a little bit fast because say you don't want to go as light, once you're done it's probably already going to be ready to rinse the first section. And you don't really want that because it's a hassle, so work fast. So now what you can do is flip the foil up, take out your comb, flatten it, make it a little foil pack. And boom, and you can just move that out of the way and start on your next section. I'll show you how to bleach the rest of the closure. So I'm going to start at the top in the root area. For the root area, I will go ahead and part each section just because I want it to be even and thorough as possible. So I'll take the section, take the bleach, and paint it on right at the root. 
Move it forward, paint the back. Take another section. want to forget about the back because if you forget about the back of that section what you're going to have is a bunch of black hair underneath and the rest of it will be blonde the only thing that's going to turn blonde is what you have product on so if you don't have product on it it's not going to turn blonde so thoroughly saturate the hair as much as possible with the bleach being really really generous you see how much bleach i'm using it's like caked on there Flip it forward. See how all of that is black? If I were to just paint this and put it over, none of that would be blonde. So being really generous, put it over, do the back. Even if your sections are really thin, you still want to put it on the back of that section to thoroughly saturate the hair. the hair forward want to comb it through starting from the bottom and working your way up through the top all right so now I We'll take it all the way down the section, the entire closure. So, you see how much product we just put on this? There's nothing on the other side, so you must be really thorough when you're bleaching. Okay, so now we're just going to comb this through. You can bleach the back of the closure to bleach the knots as well, and this will help to give a more natural look. Make sure you get all the edges so there's no black left over. All right, so now we're gonna take the closure. So you can see that it's starting to change pretty evenly. And just comb through, make sure everything is thoroughly saturated. Lay that down, take the rest of your product and apply it on there. 
keeping all the strands as neat as possible always 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 now at this point if you would like you can cover the hair with um, foil to let it process a little bit quicker to lock in the heat because extensions have no heat so it takes a little bit longer to process but for the sake of the video I will not cover it up for the foil you just want to check through and make sure everything is turning evenly see how this is a little bit more brown than this area so you can make more bleach. So I'm going to teach you how you can check the bleach to see if it is the desired color. So what you can do is pick any section and you want to take a comb, the back of the comb, and you want to just scrape it off and push it up. That's how you can see the color. The blonde isn't quite where I want it to be yet, so now I'll just put it back and let it keep on processing. So. This is what the blonde looks like and I really like the way it came out. So now I'll just go ahead and rinse and shampoo and condition the hair. When you are bleaching um, uh, virgin hair, the best thing to do is to deep condition it afterwards. So that's what I'll do. I'll rinse out the bleach and shampoo it and deep condition the bundle. So I'm going to use the Shea Moisture Moisture Retention Shampoo. All right, so I'm just gonna show you what the end looks like. So here's what the closure looks like once it's done. It's all dry now. The ends still look pretty healthy. Doesn't look damaged at all. And the color is really nice and even. So this is a closure from Maven Hair. So just so you know, Maven does have blonde hair and it's a lot easier to tone down rather than to bleach a black bundle. So you can just buy the blonde and tone it down to the level of blonde that you like if that's a little bit more easier for you than bleaching. Because bleaching is a long process so definitely understand that. And remember all Maven products come with a 30 day quality guarantee so if you did happen to ruin it or maybe it just didn't go as well for you within the 30 days of your purchase you can call the customer service line and they'll process an exchange for you if needed so don't worry because Maven's got your back if you have any further questions just give us a call at our customer service line at 866-424-7201 the hours are Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific time. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Remember to like and subscribe and comment below if you have any further questions.